Hello, my name is Matt Pryle. I'm a member of Dark Skies Bright Kids, and today I'm going to be talking to you about our 3D shoebox constellation activity. Uh, and so the intention of the 3D shoebox constellation activity is to show the kids that the stars that make up a constellation are not actually physically close to each other in space. And so an example of what the 3D shoebox constellation look like at the end of the activity is something like this. And so for our shoebox constellation activity, what we're doing is we're making the constellation Orion. Uh, and so you can see what the projection of Orion would look like in this shoebox here. Uh, and so what we do is we punch holes on the side of the shoebox, kind of like this. So when we punch the holes on the sides of the shoebox right here, what we do is we basically just use screwdrivers. Uh, and we punch on the side basically how close each star is relative to the Earth. And so you can see after you string each of the beads uh, throughout the shoebox, you'll have each of these stars at different locations, and they represent the relative distance that each of the stars in Orion is to the Earth. Right, so now I'll talk about how you go about actually making the 3D shoebox constellation and what items you need to make the activity. So first you'll need a shoebox, obviously. The second set of items you'll need are beads. Typically we use two different color beads, but you can use just the same color bead if you want. Uh, you'll also need a screwdriver to punch the holes in the side of the shoebox. You'll also need some string, and uh, this will be used to actually string through the holes, put the beads on the string itself. You also need some tape. This is just used to, to tape off the end of the string for when you're done stringing the beads throughout the, the entire shoebox. Um, you also need some scissors, and you can also use a needle. Uh, this isn't a requirement, but we find that it helps the students string the beads actually through the shoebox. And then finally, what you'll need is these templates that are used to tape to the sides of the shoebox so you know exactly where to punch the holes and where you'll be stringing the beads through on the shoebox itself. All right, so to begin, we have three different templates that you're going to need um, when you're actually stringing the beads through the shoebox itself. Okay, so to begin, we have three different templates that are used when you're actually stringing the beads through the shoebox itself. And so the first one, but the actual 2D projection of what Orion looks like on the night sky. And so this template will be placed inside the shoebox itself. And the other two templates that we have uh, are taped to the sides of the shoebox. And this is actually the holes that you'll be punching on the sides of the shoebox with the screwdrivers. And you'll notice that each of these templates has numbers on them and letters for each star. So when you're actually punching the holes and stringing the string through the shoebox itself, what you'll do is you'll follow each of those, those numbers in each of those letters, starting with A and then stringing through B. And additionally, each of the templates has a head and a feet on the bottom and top of the template. You're going to need to align each of these on the sides of the shoebox. And then you're also going to need to make sure to align the head and the feet with the 2D projection inside the shoebox as well. So then you just go ahead and you start cutting up the templates. Uh, one important thing to note is that oftentimes students, when they bring in shoeboxes, uh, the shoeboxes themselves are different sizes. And so what you'll need to do is you'll actually need to scale each of these templates to maybe three different sizes, small, medium, and large, so that each of the templates fits in the shoeboxes that the students themselves bring. So then we'll go ahead and we'll open up the shoebox, and I will place the 2D projection inside the shoebox, making note of where I'm placing the head and where I'm placing the feet of the constellation itself. Okay? And then you can go ahead and tape that off if you want as well, uh, just to make sure that it doesn't move around that much inside the, the shoebox. All right, and then making note of where I kept the head, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I'm going to take this template and see where it says top. This is going to be on the top of the shoebox itself. Uh, and so I'm going to tape this onto the side of the shoebox, making sure the top is at the top of the shoebox, and the head matches up with the head that I placed inside the shoebox as well. All right, I'll take the tape and then just tape that off on the top of the shoebox. So now that we've taped the templates to both sides of the shoeboxes, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to begin punching the holes on the sides of each of the shoebox. Okay. Okay. 
So sometimes when we're using these screwdrivers, the holes are too tiny. Uh, and so what we, what we do is we take a pencil, a colored pencil or a pen, and we just widen the holes a little bit to allow us to more easily string the uh, beads through the shoe box itself. Okay, at this point, this is usually when we'll allow the kids to start taking over. And so, usually before we begin the activity, if we needed to save, say, maybe 15 minutes, um, what we'll do is we'll have already taped the templates to the sides of the shoebox and then punch the holes ourselves. And then we'll bring these pre-punch shoeboxes to the students for them to start stringing the beads throughout the shoebox. And then for the actual number of beads that we use for the activity is eight beads. Usually we use two different color beads. Oftentimes we, we try to make them red versus blue, the two, the two separate beads. Uh, what these beads represent are the different colors of some of the stars in the constellation Orion. And so for example, Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star. And so we often use a red bead to represent Betelgeuse. And then we'll use a different color bead to represent the Orion Nebula itself. So then what you'll do is you'll need to cut a string uh, about 10 feet in length that's gonna be used to string each of the beads throughout the entire shoebox. And sometimes it's easier to actually tape the ends of this string itself. And just makes, this just makes the uh, stringing process a lot easier. Uh, so then we'll start by, if you have a needle, string through the needle itself, and then just tying that off. Um, the kids will usually need help in this step. Uh, and if you actually don't have any of these plastic needles themselves, sometimes it's easier to just tape off one end of the string. All right, and then, then we'll begin by first starting by putting the string through hole 1A. And so I'll take the needle, put it through hole 1A, and then just keep pulling the string all the way through until I reach the end of the string, um, where I will then tape that off. And we'll just tape that down on the one end. And now what we can do is take our first bead and in between each letter, so in between A and B, every time you put the string through a hole that has an A in it, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a bead on. And so since our first star is Betelgeuse, what I'll do is I'll put a red bead on the string. And then just pull this all the way through again. And then after putting the, the bead on, what you'll do is you'll take the needle and you put it through hole 1B, which you can see on the outside of the shoebox itself. So that's it. Um, but just keep in mind that you're gonna wanna, uh, when you're going through the holes that are on the B side, you're gonna be wanting, wanting to do that from inside the shoebox, as you can see me doing here. And then you can pull your string tight and you'll see that we have our first bead on the string. Then you'll just continue this process which each, with each of the stars uh, until you get all the beads on. And so I'm taking the, the, the needle through now to hole 2A, as you can see on the other side. Pulling this through, putting a bead on, and then putting it through the other end and pulling the string all the way through. And I'll go through 3A, put another bead on, Now some of you might think that uh, you might want to tape the templates on the inside so it's easier to see each of the numbers, but the templates themselves were made to be taped on the outside. Uh, if you flip the direction that they're in, it'll kind of mirror the stars and it won't work out as well. And so because this is the Orion Nebula, now I'm gonna put another different color bead on uh, rather than just the blue beads we were using to represent the other stars in Orion. And then once you get the string through the final hole, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna keep pulling the string until the string's nice and tight like that. And then you're gonna tape off one end You're going to tape off the final ends 
sort of like this. And then you could just cut off that excess string. And then after that, what you can do is you can align each of the stars to the 2D projection that you see from the uh, template that you taped on the inside. And then you'll notice that if you aligned each of the stars right, it'll kind of look like the constellation Orion that you can see in the night sky. So, so then after we finish the shoebox constellation activity, uh, what we like to do is talk a little bit about some of the results that we see from our shoebox itself. And so you notice in the 2D projection that you can see of Orion, some of the stars in 3D space are actually a lot closer to us than some of the other stars. Uh, so for example, this star right here is a lot closer than the Orion Nebula is. And another cool thing we like to do is, is you can actually look at the shoebox now from different sort of angles. And you'll notice that people in other parts of the galaxy, for example, wouldn't see the Orion Nebula or the Orion Constellation the exact same way that we would see it on the Earth. So we kind of like to talk about that uh, and about how all the, all the constellations that you can see in the night sky sort of have this sort of 3D space to them as well. Okay, so the activity itself usually takes anywhere from 30 to 45 minutes, depending on if you've uh, punched the holes in the shoebox itself. So you're going to want to need to dedicate enough time so that the students have as much time to string the beads through the shoebox. Some of the issues you might run into is that you'll find that some of the students have a shorter amount of string. Make sure to just use a lot of excess string so you're not wasting as much time constantly cutting uh, and retying different types of strings. Some of the kids won't really get the different color beads to string th through the activity, and that's fine. You can just use the same color beads throughout. And uh, that's the 3D Shoebox Constellation activity, so thanks for listening. <laughs>